Hey guys, what's up? I'm here with Ray, and this is going to be another duo vlog, vlog because uh, we know that you like these. Uh, in this vlog, we're just going to be talking about the new armor updates that's going to happen tomorrow, but that, we'll be talking about that later on in the video. First off, we're just going to be talking about what we're doing in RuneScape at the moment. So, uh, what are you up to, Ray? Uh, I'm just about to start a new Mobilizing Armies minigame. Uh, I'm trying to get my imbued rings. As you probably know already, if you didn't know, it's extremely tedious, so... Uh, yeah, just doing that for people that are watching my screen, you'll see some suiciding of mobilizing armies, but really these vlogs are just to uh, to listen to while you play Escape, so uh, please don't bother yourself by wi uh, by watching it, actually. Um, so yeah, and what are you doing? Well, I'm actually doing agility at the moment at the at the Monkey Madness place, I, I completely forgot then, uh, <laughs> April Tall agility course. Um, and I'm actually, I have like 5% of my skull boots left, I think, uh, let me just check, uh, from doing wood cutting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 5% left, so I, I'm just uh, using them up. Uh, I, I was, obviously after that I'll be doing agility as well because, yeah, uh, I need to really get it up now. And uh, I'm kind of getting, it's, it's not the most boring agility course, I've got to admit, doing the wilderness agility course is even more boring before I could be bothered going and getting the, the Greek Reese back, but, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's really not that bad. People say like agility, oh, it's it's brain fucking. It's really not that bad. Um, it's better than runecrafting. I'll, I'll say that. <laughs> yeah, it's better than runecrafting. I really don't mind it that much. Um, I have 78 at the moment. I have like 20% of my skull boots left, so I need to get those uh, to level 90. Yeah, I think. Yeah, at level 79. Yeah, I think they run out some. I think they run out sometime soon. I think maybe. I think it's either, either mid March or mid May. I can't really remember. Yeah, I still need to uh, do I'll probably that. check that up too. Yeah, it's uh, it's yeah. pretty sure in about ten or eleven days. I, yeah, I think it's the start of the 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 weekend. I, th I thought I saw that, like the start of the the bonus experience weekend, which is the twenty sixth of, uh, no, sorry, twenty sixth, the sixteenth of March. So yeah, I need to get those uh, up for that. But I'm first doing, as I said, doing some mobilizing armies. I try to get my imbued rings. I mean, I already have the swift gloves. Still need to do the Goliath and the spell cost, but just can't be bothered. But that's really not that hard. Just gotta kill Nomad, and I can do that into double Nomad. Um, I just need to gear up for it. It's really not that difficult, but I just need to gear up for it, and I <laughs> just too lazy yeah, to I'm do that. So I just want to get my imbued rings. Already got my uh, swift gloves, and well, Goliath and spell cost are quite close by. Um, and then I'm like getting closer to like the the maxed gear, I guess, because I'm not gonna get like the imbued archer ring and imbued um, uh, what is it, the Berserker ring. Well, I'm not going to wear them uh, anyway. I'm just going to get the Onyx Ring, which is like good for every combat style. Um, so just I'm trying to do that. And uh, at the side, I'm just killing every now and then, trying to get my cross. Yeah, I've just checked on the internet. Yeah, go. Cool. Uh, uh, before you go on, I've just checked on the internet. And they run out on the 16th of May. So yeah. I thought it was uh, running out this month. But um, yeah, I may as well just use them up now. They're just sitting in my bank doing nothing. I've already used my... Um, I've already used... I had 100% uh, of the gloves left. Uh, the, the what they called Haiti gloves the Haiti balls, and or yeah. Hati gloves whatever yeah 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 and uh, I had 100% of them and I, I just used them on range uh, I spent like uh, six mil or something on uh, chinning I just uh, used them up straight away uh, because I needed to get me agility up a bit uh, not agility range up a bit as well uh, so I used them up and I'm now I'm just just using my skull boots up at the moment and uh, yeah so so what were you saying Ray? Uh, I was just your, yeah your... I'm just doing some crafting. I'm, uh, oh, I just gained a rank, by the way. Really fast, these games. But I, uh, yeah, I'm i just doing some crafting. i got 81 crafting right now, but you'll probably see that as well. Just show you my uh, <clears throat> my things right now. Oh, I need to restock them. But uh, I have 81 crafting right now. I'll go to my bank real quick. If you're watching from Brad's side, this part is going to be quite boring, but I'll tell you what I have in my tab. If you didn't know before, I had my, um, uh, my molten glass and a lot of air orbs and... Um, <clears throat> what is it? The 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 unpowered orbs. Now I made about yeah. two thousand of them in uh, in the air orbs, but I just got bored of them. I got killed a couple of times. I just was bored of them, so I just sold them. I did make a little bit of loss, but really nothing that big, and it gave me uh, gave me three crafting levels. So I'm really glad about that. And as you can see, my robust glass pile also increased. It went from three hundred, I believe, in the last um, episode. Oh no, the one with Krul and I showed them as well, from 400 to 450, so I just did my daily ones. And of course I still have my 8k mahogany planks for the, um, uh, what is it, the bonus experience weekend. So I am pretty much set on my skills. Um, yeah, I'm, I have in my, yeah. uh, in my money pouch have around 
250k, which isn't like anything really. But I uh, I have some money spent on skills, so more money is gonna come kind of come in there as soon as I get 89 crafting. I'll be able to make my robust glass into the um, the the potion flask, and I won't be able to sell them. Well, I I will be able to, but I I'm not, I'm not gonna sell them. I'm just gonna keep them for if I ever do any PVM, which I will. I'm gonna do the fight kill one day. I just need them, so instead of just buying them, I can pretty much get my own. Um, yeah. Oh, well, as Ray said at the start, uh, it is a uh, in, this this is intended to play, to to listen to when you play RuneScape. So it really doesn't matter if you're looking at the the video or anything. Just uh, you can just listen to what we're saying. Uh, yeah. Even if we do show our skills or anything like that, you don't have to look. We're just uh, making conversation, and you know. Yeah, just, we are. Uh, for people about that account. are interested, you uh, you'll be able to see that. And why did nothing happen? Did it click away or something? No idea. Anyway, um. Uh, I totally lost my train of thoughts. Um, yeah, for people that are interested, they might be able, or be, they just might want to uh, want to see what what we are doing, and they can watch. And if, for people that are not interested, you can just le listen. Um, but yeah, my my stills did increase a bit, but you'll be seeing that in my next road to Torva. Again, I've got many messages for uh. new road to Torvas and new, like the new dungeoneering guy. But we are working on it. I really need Brad's help with that because because yeah, dungeoneering is a team play thing, you know, really want Brad to be there, so uh, yeah, we just need to figure out either a weekend or just like a while while we can play. Uh, so oh yeah, I'm something. also up for that, yeah, I'm also up for that because uh, I need to get my CC bow, I think I'm like 60 or 70k tokens off actually getting that, uh, so that so a weekend of Dungeoneering would also be nice for me as well. So. Yeah, and uh, of course I hope to get Chris on, uh, Chris is just a great Dungeoneer and uh, maybe Ian as well, no idea yet. I want to do some three mens as we usually do, I mean, but I also want to get some five mens just to show you how to do the, the in quotation marks perfect dungeon. Um, so yeah, we're just trying to work something out and it's really, it's really a long guide and I uh, <laughs> still every video get asked from a 99 Dungeoneering guy, but believe me, it is common. Yeah, and why you can probably make it in a series, oh, sorry, yeah, you can probably make it in some sort of you know, because it's so long, make it into so some sort of series, like uh, one of the videos every day or two days, or something like that. Like yeah. first off, you can talk about the basics of engineering. Then second, the basis basis of keying or wh whatever. Yeah, I uh, just make I already have my my plan set up on how I'm gonna do the 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 guide. Um, it's it is gonna be released in a couple of days, just because it's so massive. I'll uh, release a part like every day, and it will be a couple of days since it is, uh, as I said before, it's. Uh, almost two hours long right now, so it is a massive guide. So you don't want to see that in one day. Just upload a day, uh, upload a day. <laughs> I'll just upload a video a day, and uh, until I have the entire video up, and I won't be starting right now because then you'll have like one tenth of a video, and then after like two weeks, another part is coming out, and after like two days after that, another part is coming out. I just want to get the entire guide out in one go. So that's pretty much for that. Um, people who are interested and people I get asked daily so I guess many people are actually waiting for the 99 engineering guide which I'm uh, happy to hear about that I uh, actually have a guide many people will be um, will be watching so uh, just look out for that yeah and as for my agility I uh, it's not something that I'm sticking to I'm gonna be doing it all day uh, I'm gonna be I'm, not, I'm just gonna be spending my room to get time on this that's not true I'm gonna be uh, doing some other skills like uh, smithing things like that probably go do some more range if I have the money for it uh, and uh, as Ray said yeah um, Ch Chinin is a waste of money but that's uh, his opinion because obviously he enjoys range and it's not my favorite thing yeah. but obviously if, if you enjoy range then you shouldn't Chin but with me I enjoyed melee more uh, so range is not really my thing I like ranging as in like going PVM ranging but I don't really like training it I just want it to get higher and if I've got the money for it then why not which I don't at the moment <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna try and get some more money for that. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, w when I give advice, it's my personal advice. You don't have to take it. It's just something I give. Um, so um, yeah, I don't really advise tinning because really I love range. I have at the moment I have like 26 mil range experience. I'm pretty sure. So 26 yeah, mil. Yeah, of course. Like, if you love range, then yeah. if you love range, that's amazing, of course. But um, oh, I need to suicide already. Um, but um, I just don't advise tinning with the core. Of course you. You don't have to listen to me, really. Yeah, it's uh, you got to do your own thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, it is an amazing experience. I mean, I, as I said, I had the the hate pause, so it was like, whoa, probably like 400 kxp an hour or whatever. <laughs> like yeah, crazy. something like that. It's, uh, it depends on your range level, but it's it's really good experience. That's why many people do it, and that's why it's pretty much really expensive, uh, especially after the bots were gone. It's uh, the price rose immense. So really, you have you gotta have the money for it, and uh, yeah, we're trying to we're trying out some new money making methods. I mean, uh, of course, we have seen Armadil for a while since the new Squeal of yeah. Fortune update. Really mad about that that you just can get 
uh, I've, I've heard many people have seen many screenshots already of uh, people getting armadil items and even banners items. I've seen even one from getting an Al Elysian or Elysian, whatever you want to call it, guy getting an Elysian. Um, so I, I'm quite mad about that, really. Just uh, and they don't degrade or anything. Um, so I'm not really too fond of that. But yeah, it's an update. Jagex is uh, is the boss. So if they want to do what what they do, yeah, they they can. Nothing can stop them. So, um, and Armada, we haven't had a drop in a really long time, then finally, uh, we get a drop, it's at the, uh, it's at the event. Apart from my health. <laughs> yeah, and after that, of course, Brad gets the hilt. Uh, so, Brad, I don't know how you stand at Armada right now, uh, do you f still find it fun, or, um... Well, I, d to be, um, basically the only reason I went to Armada that day is because, well, for one, I was bored, two, I felt like, uh, going soloing, uh, because I've never soloed it before, and yeah, I just thought it'd be a cool idea, and also, for a video as well, and I just thought, oh, why, why not go do it? And I actually got hit, so I was like, wow. But but I know that oh, if I go solo, I won't get another drop. I'm pretty sure of that. Because uh, I went I went after that, and I, and I didn't get anything. So yeah, I was um, I wasn't I wasn't I was annoyed by that because obviously I just got hit. And I'm really lucky to get that um, for my first ever kill solo. Um, but yeah, I just don't really feel like going spending all my bruise and cash and everything all on armor Amadil again just to not get a drop like we did before. Yeah. So probably not gonna do that. Um, yeah, probably not gonna do that anytime soon. I really want to find another um, money making method that we can both do together, so it's kind of fun. But we've been thinking, aren't we? And it's like um, we can't. Yeah, we've we've been bit brainstorming a bit to see what we are. Uh, yeah, what we actually find fun. I mean, I know I'm a ranger. I uh, pretty much got bred into ranging a bit as well. So Armando was kind of my, yeah, my first choice. Um, so I don't want to want to see Brad unhappy and like doing something I find fun, but he like has to <laughs> like bust out all day just just for the sake that I I like it. So we need to find something that we both like, but also we have both have the requirements for, and also is pretty good money. I mean, we can both do frost dragons, and we we've tried it for a couple of hours. It is good money, but it's extremely boring. I mean, after like two hours, I want to cut something off. Um, so it's it's. <laughs> You're not gonna say what? Well. No, I was like for the maybe a little bit younger viewers of my <laughs> videos um, but um, yeah it's uh, really not something <laughs> I would like to camp like Armadou I don't mind camping but if we get a drop like in such a long time I'm kinda losing my um, yeah my willpower to do that so we just need to try something I'm already getting my magic up to go glaze source of course that's something Brad can't do but if I have some time alone or if um, yeah we just wanna do something separate I mean we are friends but sometimes we just wanna do something separate something not together um, we we yeah I can do that. Um, so of course the reason why I'm doing um, doing uh, mobilizing armies to get imbued rings to uh, to do some more bossing. Um, so yeah we are gonna try to do that, but we just have to find a new boss or um, yeah any any other thing really. Yeah. Um, so what are you, what are your goals for now, really, Brad? Uh, what are you trying to well, achieve? Well, uh, in a short sentence. Uh, all my stats 80 plus. That's a really short sentence. That's right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but but no, obviously, obviously not just going for that. But I, I really want to get some more money as well. Uh, of course, to get my range up, like I said. So, yeah, making money and uh, getting my stats up to 80 plus, which ring crafting um, uh, might take a while because I might start doing penguins as well. To be honest, no. I've that. Well, if I'm doing jack of trades and I'm doing my uh, trail invasion on runecraft and I may as well go do penguins might, might look into that, I've ne never really done it before yeah, I have uh, but it's just so boring, like if we're gonna do it we're definitely gonna do it together because alone it's so freaking boring and it's just a waste of time to try finding them on your own it's uh... of course you have yeah. the, 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 the penguins cc uh, or fc rather uh... you of course gotta use that but like if you're together it's even faster um, so I think, yeah, I would like to do it together. I don't know where you stand on that, but I would like to do it together. Um, yeah, sure. Like, if we're going to do it. I need to get my summoning up anyway, so when summoning is quite expensive. It, like, before it was only about getting the charms that took the time, but now it's also, like, so expensive. I mean, uh, I've heard, like, getting to 96 from, like, any level really is above 100 mil since all those, after the bots were gone, all those items got so expensive. But still, I stand good on the bots. I mean, the, the fact that the bots are gone, I'm so happy about. But, of course, uh... Yeah, one of the the things is that um, why I clicked. Oh, there we go. Um, I, uh, I just yeah, I just fell into the pool for the first time. <laughs> damn it! Do you know, do you know the, when you fall into the water? Yeah, yeah. For yeah. the first time, this this trip. Damn it! <laughs> I was hoping not to do that. Anyway, go on. <laughs> uh, 
Um, you yeah, talking about the, the bots. Yeah, yeah. The, the prices really rose, so um, I guess it's a good thing the bots are gone. Um, but in that sense, it is a disadvantage, which I'm really not that bothered about. It's uh, it's just yeah, it, it is there. So um, so I, I need to get my summoning up anyway, and rather do that with penguins and jack of trades and troll invasion. I still got to do my troll invasion for this month with probably uh, with the penguins and with the jack of trades every day and with the troll invasion and maybe some randoms. I can probably get to ninety yeah. ninety summoning. Well, you can borrow my uh, you can borrow my claws if you want if you need to. You, oh thanks. You don't have them, right? Uh, uh, no. You, you, you did have them. You sold them, though, didn't you? Yeah, I just bought them for uh, for Dominion Tower really to get my 500 rank, and now I don't need yeah. them really anymore. So I just well, that's what, them. that's the reason I bought them for. But <laughs> so I'm gonna be using that up on Dominion. Oh yeah, Dominion Tower. I forgot to say about that. Uh, I got about 50 kills at Dominion Tower. I, I just went and got 50 kills. Nothing special, but I was just trying it out. I have a vlog on it. What me just going trying it out and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna like ho I'm aiming to get like 50 kills per day when I'm not busy. Uh, listen, I think because I don't really want to beast it out all all at once because I gotta admit, me me wanted to train my other skills and also, yeah, well that's the only reason really. It's not it's not I wouldn't say it's boring. Uh, because you can kind of like I don't know I wouldn't say you can like do other stuff while you do it, but it's just easy doing easy bosses and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna do it all at once. I'd rather do it like 50 kills, maybe 50 kills every two days or something like that. That's a nice uh, amount I think. Yeah, basically but, um, what I'm doing with the with the mobilizing armies right now, I'm I'm really not gonna bust it out. Oh my god, 300 rank, and you're gonna only get like 12 rank. You did an hour. Did you do it with Dominion Tower? You did it. Yeah, all I did once, it with didn't Dominion Tower, but I really didn't mind Dominion Tower. Dominion Tower was quite fun for me, trying to <laughs> one hit the boss with yeah. a Dragon Claw spec or. You should go for the thousand kills. <laughs> yeah, but also like, no, hell no, <laughs> dude, I'm not gonna do that. No, it's more like um. With the Dominion Tower, I also had to get the Pest Queen to get the Swift Claws, because the Swift Claws was actually my only goal. I'm just going to get the Goliath Gloves and the Spell Cluster Gloves, just for the fact that I have them in my bank, um, if I want to use them. Um, I, my, my main goal was the Swift Claws, so yeah, and I had to kill the Pest Queen, and for some weird reason, Jack has decided that I didn't encounter the, the Pest Queen for like 480 bosses, so it was also kind of fun trying to encounter that. I mean, yeah, it's just uh, something that keeps you motivating, and like anything that keeps you motivating is good really um so yeah, well, I, I need didn't to mind it. I need to encounter um nomad I completely yeah nomad yeah so yeah so uh, um, nomad's kind of easy as well yeah you can also do that you have that special um uh is special free yeah special you have the special challenge where you can do the double nomad which also counts so it's really nothing like you have to encounter it but i guess the double nomad is you know, as it said, you have to kill no two nomads at the same time. Well, not at the same time, but in a row. So yeah. I guess that's a little not handicap, but something that makes it a little bit more difficult. But I guess it's like a hundred percent chance you'll actually encounter it. The only real hard part is just to defeat it. Then. Um, yeah. Well, when I first did uh, nomad uh, on the quest, I think I was like eighty range or something like that. <laughs> really didn't know what I was doing. I just uh, kind of died a few times and then I did it. But uh, not on max melee and stuff. I just melee it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I've I've done Nomad. I think I've I went to do Nomad. Uh, I went and tried it out on Dominion Tower. It is it is easy with full band and claws yeah. and stuff. Um, I only had, the thing is I only had rock tails on my inventory though. So I had a few rock tails because I was just testing it out and stuff. So I think I got him like just below half HP, but that was just with some a few rock tails. Nothing uh nothing much really. So yeah. it should be easy. Yeah. Yeah, I also did it with uh, 95 range. Um, just with some lucky. Ruby Bolt Specs got it my first time, so it's really not that difficult, it's just same thing with the Pest Queen, it's really not that difficult, it's just like the fact to encounter it, it's um, you know, that's the hard part really. But um, but yeah, talking about the Almond, no? Yeah, I was just about to say, like, we kind of rambled on about what we're going to do, um, of course, tomorrow there's an update, it hasn't been confirmed yet for whatever I know about it, um, but everyone seems to guess that it's going to be the, um, the, the, the new armor update. Uh, well, not the new armor, but the improved graphical armor update. Uh, yeah. Now, what? Oh, I just, I'll just get up the stairs real quick, and I'll show you what I did in my bank. Um, I actually bought most of the, well, not most of the, but like more of the important parts of the, um, of the armor. Uh, of course, nothing compared to what Rune Shark did. Yes, I also uh, saw that video today. Um, nothing compared to what Rune Shark did. I don't have the money. But if two you bill. <laughs> you spent like two bill or something. Yeah. Yeah. Like, wow. I, I mean, I'm nothing. What's the damn thought? Oh my god. Nothing compared to that. So what I did, I actually bought all the armors, like the Rune, the the, the Adamant, Mithril, all the way up to bronze. 
uh, or like down to bronze rather. Um, the black dehyde bodies, as you can probably see, I bought two sets of all, so I can give one to Brad so he can make a video about it as well. We might do it together, not sure yet. Yeah, as um, soon as I have the bandos, so we could... Uh, yeah, you have the bandos yeah. and I have the armadillo. Wait, where's my armadillo? It's somewhere, yeah, here's my armadillo. Um, so yeah, I, we, we can do something about that. We can at least do some of the more usual armors and more armors that most people have and of course like the higher level the the more rich players either the stegas or like the 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 better pvmers will be able to do the uh the higher level armors um so if you want to see that yeah you should watch out for that but if you just want to see like the the more lower class armors you should w watch out for this because uh yeah we have something planned for tomorrow if it is actually tomorrow uh what what do you think about the new graphic armor what what what, what do you expect really uh, well, obviously, when when it first comes out, uh, we've seen pictures of it, and uh, to be honest, I do think uh, a lot of it looks beast. But obviously, there's good, there's probably going to be people um, annoyed about it. There, there always is with an update, as we said in previous videos. To be honest, yep. uh, but but in my opinion, I think they look cool. Uh, I really don't think Badness and Torvald needs to be updated, seeing as they already look beast. And, um, but hopefully, if it look if it looks better, then I don't have a problem with it. But if they just change it just for the sake of it, it doesn't look any better, uh, then I'm, I'm going to be kind of annoyed about that. But, um, but really, in an honest opinion, I'm not. I don't really mind about it to be honest. I'm just a player that just goes along with everything. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm always fond of like the graphical. Um the graphical armor updates or any graphical update rather but uh, yeah I'm, I'm really concerned of the uh, the frames per second issue I don't know if they're actually gonna gonna fix that in this um, in, in this update or in this month but yeah. we already made a vlog oh, about like, that um, <laughs> you'd be having like five frames per second or something yeah I'm, I'm doing pretty good now I'm at like 13 frames per second right now um, but I took my uh, my some of the graphic settings a little bit down it's really not that bad but I yeah just the main ones I took down Thir they said 13 yeah it's um <laughs> yeah shut up okay <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna read my note especially when i'm recording as well <laughs> um so what, what would yours be when you're not recording about 2024 20, it's um so so it it is a massive uh decrease really uh and we, we said it in another video like i don't want to ramble about it this time again but i'm really not that glad about what they did with the fps issue that's basically all i want to say um and I hope they sort it out quickly, but I really am, like, teaser images I saw and some of the uh, things that were actually on the RuneScape home website. Um, I'm really glad about how they did it and not, like, they, they fucked it up all the way uh, with some other armors. Um, so I'm, I'm really, like, I really... Bandos, I mean, sorry, Barrows is okay. Uh, I have to get used to it, but it's okay, I guess. Uh, I like some of them, but they really overdid Varex, and I hope they're not going to do that with uh, with some others. Uh, for, but for what I've seen, I'm really happy about it. I'm really looking forward to yeah. it, and I really hope it is and tomorrow. Of course, yeah. yeah. And of course, we've got the steel and iron armors, and what we uh, what we made a, a vlog on. Well, not really a vlog, but just a, you know an updated video on what it looks like uh, when we when it came out. Yeah. And... Uh, I hope I hope the new armors look a bit, look as beast as they did, they did because they, they actually did a really good job on making them. Yeah, I think. Um, so uh, hopefully they, whoever made them, made made these as well. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I really hope as well. Um, I actually wear my steel more than I wear like good armor really. Uh, as you probably saw before, I I wear some failure armor with like carrils and um, D boots and a whip or something like some weird combination. Um, just my well, I'm not really skilling at the moment, but just for like random armor, it isn't too heavy or anything. I can run with it, um, just like things I wear. Um, but I usually wear my my steel. I just love to wear steel. It's, it looks amazing, some sort of tank. And I hope they um, did a nice thing on the uh, on the mithril and the emmet and the rune and the dragon, of course, as well. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm. Yeah. So you don't actually have to walk around in steel. Then maybe you can walk around in some cool armor that also looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like uh, like dragon. Hopefully that looks really yeah, cool. Yeah, I don't have the money to buy Dragon right now, really. Well, I have the money, but I I rather spend it on Armadillo or something. They're also going to update that, so I might, yeah, just wear that if they update it in a cool way. Um, no idea really. I mean, uh, I've seen teaser things like the 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 one in, uh, in north of Falador, but I have no idea how to, how they're going to do it. So I I'm I'm looking forward to it. It's uh it's going to be cool. I hope. Um, yeah. But I can't imagine they're doing that alone so I don't know if they're going to do some other updates as well and I, we don't even know like if they're going to do it tomorrow. Wep weapon updates or anything like that. Yeah. Um, Cause the, you know because the long swords, the daggers, the, the well the skimmer tiles are being updated. Uh, um, 
But yeah, the long sword, the daggers, and the the short swords. Um, I think that's still what you call them. They used, we used to call them short swords back in the day. Maybe they're just not short right now. I've not looked at one since then, <laughs> so I don't have a clue. But whatever, um, just normal swords or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um, hopefully, on maces. Yeah, just all just all that all that type of stuff. Yeah. Uh, maybe they'll update that too, seeing as that's been out since like 2002 or whenever RuneScape came out. Um, just the same, um, well the skimmer tiles are updated, but I think the rest of it has not really been updated. Well, it has it. been updated a little bit, but only with the, like the big graphical update of like 2005, I believe. I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, but like if you look at the scimitars right now, and if you look at the new armor updates, um, you're really gonna see that, like considering the new armor updates and like how the, how the scimitars look right now, it's gonna be really outdated. Um, it, it will look really outdated, so I can imagine they're actually going to update this as well. Um, but I'm, I'm, as I said, I'm really not sure. We haven't seen anything. We have, haven't seen um, any clues for that, so I, I'm really not sure. So um, you know, you know what would make me want to do agility more? <laughs> what? If you, if you actually got more muscle from it, like yeah, I don't know. But you play got more muscle. That'd be cool. Well, if if like at level 99, your run will never go out. Like never. Yeah. Might be a little bit overpowered, yeah. but like never. I'm getting attacked. Please yeah. don't attack me. That'd be so cool. It's about the time they made made an update where you can have no top and you can just be like full six pack and muscle. <laughs> I'd still train agility then. I might. It's still boring, dude. It's. Or, or if you like, uh, if your agility is one, then you fat. <laughs> <laughs> you're like off like five steps. You're like. <gasps> yeah. yeah. Um, oh, please don't die before I actually get to the 26 minutes. If you didn't know already, if you are mobilizing armies, you need to get down to about 26 minutes, then you're able to uh, actually give up or like suicide yourself. Um, and then you still get a rank, but if they kill you before the 26 minutes, you don't get a rank. So I'm just going to put two of my uh, thingies safe, so uh, I don't get a... I've never, I've never done agility like this much all the time. I usually do a bit of agility, take a little break uh, for like a couple of minutes, I don't know. Well, um, I've, and then I've done it. Get back to it, but I've done it but, um, for, for quite I've a while. I've never, I've never like been constantly clicking it yet, um, like for this long. Because I, I don't know. It's just probably because of recording and speaking and stuff like that. It just makes me just carry on. Because obviously, if I'm stopped, then they're gonna be like, "What the hell?" <laughs> so yeah. No, I. Uh, uh, I don't mind it. You can, I've got zero money. I have like 400k in my bank. It's like, oh, but I, I need to uh, get some, get some more cash. We need to. We need to get a money making method. We need to really have a brainstorm, think about it, and see what we can come up yeah, with. Yeah, I mean, we have enough money making methods for you. There are so many people, or so many methods to make money. Um, just <laughs> all of them, we're just too lazy to do them. Either too lazy or just too bored to do them. Yeah, I can't bother going to get KC and uh, yeah. all that stuff going. God, well, just like, oh, you need lots of you need you need money to buy the stuff for it, and you need to go buy brews. And by the time you've actually got a drop, it's only paying for the the brews that you've used. It's like, yeah. We, uh, oh God! So uh, we need we need to find something where we don't have to. We, we we still make some nice money and it's kind of fun, but we don't have to be like uh, you know like Amadou like 30 mil drops things like that. But just something that we can make some nice decent money from <coughs> over a period of time or whatever. But it's also fun. Yeah. And it and it doesn't cost us money to actually well much money to actually to actually do it. Yeah. So uh, we're just trying to find that and like really something that. Um you don't have to get KC or get killed every time or get... Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on. Just kill yourself, please. Um, okay. <laughs> no, no, <yeah. laughs> Okay. No, um... Just something we don't have to get KC or get crashed every time where it's like a drop every like 14 million kills or something. Like a Corporal Beast. Um, well, not 14 million. It's like 2.5k, but still, it's, 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 it's a lot. Um... Something we can camp really, but we're not <laughs> we're not trying to mess about that. Um, anyway, about the uh, the armor updates because that was the original topic there. Um, really excited to do that. Uh, we're trying to get some images or maybe some some videos about that, and uh, hope to be one of the first ones to get them actually out. Um, so we we've rambled up for yeah. for a while now. Do you want do you want to wrap it up? Yeah, um, sure. Just just uh, happy escaping, and I hope this um, entertained you whilst playing RuneScape, yeah. and I hope. Uh, yeah, we'll be bringing more out of these, so... Yeah, just have so, uh, have one quick question. Yeah. Uh, would you like me, uh, if, even if you're subscribed to Brad, uh, would you like me to make a mobilizing armies guide? Do you want to uh, show you how to get the best way to get to 300 rank fast? Um, if you do, do, let me know. <laughs> if you do, let me know in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, pretty much happy escaping, as Brad said. I hope this helps you. And if you, if you would like to see more of this, uh, let, let us know in the comments below. So, uh, do you want me to make a, a, a patrol agility 
course guide. I'll show you how to get around it. No, I'm joking. Yeah, it's, it's really hard. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be like two hour long video. Yeah, it's it's really in depth. All the like... details. How to how to click like yeah each each square around. We're gonna show you how to plug your mouse in and actually click the ground. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, it's uh... anyway. Um, yeah, we'll we'll see you in the next video, guys. See you guys. Bye. Bye.